All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On this episode, I want to talk about recreating yourself. Think about that for a second. Think about where you are right now. Right now. Not yesterday or what you plan to be. Right now. Assess where you are right now. When you're able to do that from a position of truth, not, you know, what you would like to happen or what you think should be happening but where you actually are then you're able to make adjustments going forward right you, you can make no adjustments going backwards and you make no progress standing still you have to continually be working on you right if you're not working on you then the world or the universe that we live in will be creating and molding you to something that you may or may not want to be you have the ability to consciously control your life. It's, it works like that. You can say yes to certain things and you can say no to certain things, right? But if you say yes to the wrong thing, then you have to deal with the consequences. There will be consequences, right? Not always bad, but there will be consequences. So you have to consciously understand certain things as you're trying to grow something, as you're trying to recreate who you are. Because sometimes who we are, we're not really satisfied with, right? Sometimes we like to be uh, in another place or in another space. Sometimes it's the peace that we're missing, right? The peace of mind, the, the peace of spirit where you could just, you know, relax and not have to be stressed out or depressed behind a lot of things. Because a lot of times today, one of the things that are ha that's happening is that uh, mental illness is real. Mental illness is happening to a lot of people that look just like you and I. And they're actually like walking time bombs when you think about some of the things that people go through. Right? Some of the things that people go through on a daily basis can be abusive. And if you get in that regularly, that's structuring you to be a certain way. In other words, it's making you cold to certain things that you would normally have empathy or sympathy for, right? Because most often hurting people hurt people, right? So you can't identify those people just by watching them or just by listening to them. Sometimes it's just a trigger that will send everything off, right? Uh, there are a lot of people who have gone to the military, right, and gone to war and come back with PTSD. And then you see what's happening in the world today, how they're treating the veterans, right? Sometimes that can escalate from, you know, I did this for my country and my country does nothing for me. And I was doing a little research this weekend preparing for these uh, episodes. And in California, there is a large homeless uh, community, very, very large, like thousands, 59, 60,000 people homeless. And you think about the cost of living and, you know, those people uh, probably were people like you and I who had a job, a, a home and, you know, transportation, all that prior to whatever situation came up, right? And that's not that, to say that they're bad people at all. It's just to, just to say that the situation can sometimes cause you to mentally go another place where you would normally not go into a grocery store and steal meat. Now you may do that because you have no other option in your mind or no other resources that you feel you can you know, allocate. So it's, it's absolutely necessary that if you want to be, do, and have something going forward in your life, that you're able to recreate yourself as you're uh, making the decision to go the, the path that you want to take because that's also based on what you want. It's not based on what I want. It's based on what you want. You have to understand that and you therefore you have no one to blame but you, right? If things don't go right, if you don't stick to it long enough, if you uh, allow someone else to come in and take over or if you allow someone to come in and sidetrack you to where you no longer are doing that, then that's on you. It's not on anybody else. That's why you have to be uh, responsible for what you do, right? If you're not responsible, who's supposed to be responsible for you, a grown person? 
I always share with people that no one is coming to the rescue. Think about that for a second. Think about your life and how your life is today. If you're happy with it, great. If you're unhappy with it, great. But no one is coming to save you. You have to do that yourself. And you can do it. It's simple as that. Just make that decision that you're going to change that and start. And little by little, you'll start to see progress. First thing that has to change is your mindset. See, your mind controls all that. If, if you're not mentally prepared to do it, or if you don't mentally want to do it, then you're going to make excuses why you shouldn't continue. That's how it works. And excuses will always uh, make sense to the person who's making them, right? I always like to say that uh, excuses satisfy only those who give them. Think about that. And if you're dealing with other people, as far as building a team, your team members don't want excuses. That's not what they're working with. They're on another level. They want results, right? So if you're always making excuses why you're not on time or you didn't bring all your equipment or whatever the case may be, then we're going to have to extract you. You're going to have to be ejected because where we're going requires reliability. It, re it requires uh, people who you can count on, right? And you have to become one of those people. That, too, is a part of recreating who you are, especially if you're a procrastinator. I would like to share with people who are procrastinators that the moment, the moment you tell me you're a procrastinator, I automatically put you in a level where you're, I'm not going to rely on you for anything. Nope. Because you already are a pro, professed procrastinator. You're telling me you're not going to be on time. You're telling me I can't count on you. Why would I put that in your hands and expect the results to be like I want them? I wouldn't. Now that person may, or that person may, not Larry James, because I like results. And I like results based on the effort that I put in. So if I put in the effort and I'm relying on you to close the deal and you're not going to show up, please, that's not going to happen. <laughs> nope. And if it does happen, it'll happen once because I'll make an adjustment. I'll recreate that process so that you don't have that responsibility anymore. I'm not saying I'll take you off the team, but you won't have that responsibility. Right? That's how it works. Recreating who you are. Speakwithair.com.